Tresco, Eddie David, Blackie Got Game. These are three guys I have gotten the better of plenty of times before, lads. But we were all in the same place and we got to face off against each other in the new mobile game NBA Infinite. So NBA Infinite is a brand new mobile game that is completely free to play. There's so many ways to play. Obviously, you can go and play one on one. You can play online. You can play five on five and make your team. You can play three on three at Giga New Three Point Shot Contest. But today, we're going to focus mostly on how we took on and beat most of the other YouTubers that we faced off against. So, first things first, we ended up getting a very nice team to start it off. A couple of 80 overalls, a few 82 overalls. I thought to myself, this team's looking nice. But you'll see later on in the video, we're not even close to building our full team. To start off, we did some of the training in order to just get a couple of coins, a couple of easy things, as well as getting the daily login reward. After that, I decided to open some random epic coach packs because I'm thinking maybe coaches matter, but we get Darvin Ham. Of course, we get Darvin Ham. But with that, I decided to go and open a couple of player boxes. While the players we got weren't anything spectacular in some of these, like Andrew Wiggins, there's a big thing you'll see later on. Like, the more of any players you get, the better it is. So, while yeah, Wiggins, D'Lo may not look like the best cards in the world, as you can see with how many of those guys we're pulling, there is potential that Andrew Wiggins, D'Lo could become some of the best players in the game, which is something that I do like, that if you do end up getting duplicates of players, it can make the initial players even better, which is actually massive. And then in the end, we finally went and pulled ourselves our first walkout type player, and it is Damian Lillard. There's no way I'm skipping this animation right here. So you can see, obviously, graphics do look pretty nice, especially in an animation like this. But surprisingly enough, the graphics look very, very similar in game, which is incredible for a mobile game. But we then open more of these packs. I'm looking through some stuff and I'm going to go, you know what? Let's go and open a veteran coach pack. We're sure we're going to get something better in a veteran coach pack and we get Chauncey Billups. Coach one of the four worst teams in the NBA. And then we're going to go and open another one and we get another Chauncey Billups. At least we can make Chauncey Billups better, but still still at least taylor jenkins is a guy who i rate pretty highly as a coach looking at the player market obviously there's not going to be many cards up right now it is another way of getting players rather than opening packs but i was not spending 200 000 on a drew holiday however what i am gonna go and do is play some 1v1 because we do have a lot of guys we can use and running with steph curry against the joel Embiid. This could be a pretty fun matchup, especially because it is our first game. We're just figuring things out. So our first 1v1 game, I really just used this to try figure out the controls. And you can see by Steph Curry's dribbling, man's moving like this is a damn console game. We're out here hitting him with double crosses. We're learning the Curry slide and hitting shots in his face. I'm just lobbing right here and my Steph Curry's looking unstoppable. And honestly, my opponent has had no answer for Steph Curry, whether it be from two or three it was just ggs we end up walking back and hitting a shot in his face with steph there's only 17 seconds to go in this game and we are kind of messing around with things we do get the um, equivalent of takeover in nba infinite right there with steph and rather than using it for a deep three he's expecting me to pull the three we end up kind of moving around a little bit and hitting the mid-range shot as you can see right here like we're not moving the greatest with it being our first game but things are gonna get better we then face uh, Licky. I'm not sure exactly who that was, but we are facing him in the game, and we do start off with the ball, but it's Steph v. Steph. But honestly, I'd labbed enough with Steph and Curry right here to know that I knew what I was doing. Whether my opponent knew what he was doing, that was to be seen, but we were there double crossover into a two. Defensively, he didn't look great. One thing, though, is I did become very, very, like, trigger happy when it came to steals i was so used to spamming that square button that it, it just wasn't working on defense because you guys can see like i'm hitting threes i'm curry slide i'm figuring things out i'm hitting the mid-range shot it's just my defense isn't great my opponent then goes and hits a crazy shot right there but we do end up getting a curry slide into a three-point shot to get a two-point lead and with it being 10 all i just decided to end this on a layup 
I couldn't stop him, so he definitely couldn't stop me when it came to uh, to layups. But that's another game, another win for Steph. We're now facing KD. And at this stage, we're now starting to get the hang of Steph Curry. We get him stunned on a Curry slide right there to make it 6-4. We get him stunned on a front Curry escape. These animations are actually incredible. Like, it genuinely feels like the way the players move very similar to a console game, which is something that I do really, really like. We stun him again with the Curry slide animation. Hit from deep for the win. Now we're facing off against Tresco, the first at a rivalry games. He was sitting two seats down for me as far as I can remember. And this was a big one. He was using Trey Young. Trey Young did have the Trey fade, though. It was something that um, we were definitely able to hit was the Trey fade. Curry fade was pretty good, but the Trey fade was equally as OP. With two seconds to go, we trigger take over long range expert and we hit the buzzer beater. A complete fluke shot, but yeah, we end up hitting a massive buzzer beater with Steph to go and win the game right here. And then Tresco rematches us with Giannis, and I just couldn't score. You can see here, with 11 seconds to go, it was 2-0. I was struggling. We do eventually get our score, but it's too little too late. I need to go for a steal, and he dunks it on me. I can't get a four-point play in this game. We miss it, and he does end up beating us for our first loss. And I'm not going to lie, I didn't take the loss too well. So we did end up going and playing some 3v3. I'm pretty sure I did face against, um, this was almost like an offline thing. Because I think this was bots as far as I'm aware. Um, but at the same time, we were cocking with Stephen Curry. At this stage, like I'd been about 45 minutes to an hour into my playing time. And I had just figured out how to use Stephen Curry. And that's the one thing I do like about this is that, like, if you do want to play 1v1 and just perfect one player, you can go and play 1v1 modes. You can play 3-on-3 three -three modes. And for those who want the 5v5 experience, obviously you guys can go and build a squad right now. Like, I was focusing mainly on trying to beat as many other YouTubers as possible, which was my goal. That was uh, genuinely the one thing I went into the uh, playtest with was to beat as many people as possible. But... I saw a lot of people playing 5v5, and honestly, with a team like this, with the ability to build a dream team like this, I mean, why wouldn't you? As a my team player, why wouldn't you? That's my game. So I've put together a pretty nice team right here. You can see a lot of good goals, but honestly, I think there's a way I can make it better. But one player we did have a duplicate of was Damian Lillard, and I started messing around with ranking up players, so we did end up getting ourselves a duplicate Dame, and one thing we can do is you can go and trade in your duplicate dame in order to level up dame so he went from an 80 80 to an 82 so he's basically the highest overall player well at least tied highest overall we then got our bam out of bio up to an 82 overall as well so again he's now the same rating as Jokic, and we got shea gildas alexander bumped up to an 81 he was surprisingly low at a 79 so i did end up opening a lot of these kevin durant packs because i was trying to see if i could get a steph curry pack but the Kevin Durant pack did offer a lot better cards than the other packs. But eventually, after a couple of the boxes, we did end up opening a Kevin Durant, who obviously is going to be incredible. Like, trust me, in this game, KD might have been... Like, I was labbing Steph Curry, and I really knew how to use Curry, but, like, you'll see later from using him and coming up against him, like, Steph or KD might actually be better than Steph. But the rest of this, we ended up opening a lot of John Collins, a lot of Aaron Gordons, a lot of Wiggins, and an awful lot of D'Angelo Russell. We did go and get our Tatum. We got our Kevin Durant level up. We leveled up Clay Thompson as well to level three. So Aaron Gordon's another guy we leveled up a couple of times. And the funny thing is, is that we took a risk, or we didn't take a risk on him, but you can take a risk. If you don't have enough cards to fully complete the Evo, you can take a risk. So if you have like... Say it's eight is needed and you have four. You have a 50-50 chance because you have half the available cards. If you have six, you have a 75% chance. If you have one, you have a 12.5% chance. So even if you don't have all the cards collected, you can just like take a chance on getting the cards upgraded, which I did a few times. Like Sometimes it didn't work. I tried it with Shea and it just did not work. However, trying it with some other guys, they were able to be upgraded. So we got our Dame Lillard upgraded to an 85 overall making him the best point guard in my collection, including Kevin Durant. So not Kevin Durant, Steph Curry. Kevin Durant is a guy that we 100% were able to upgrade. We got him up to an 86 overall. Shea, 
We tried to get him up to an 85. We didn't have enough cards and we lost. We lost on the coin flip there. So we ended up losing our duplicate shays because we did kind of gamble it. However, Aaron Gordon is a guy that we did end up getting up to level five. So Aaron Gordon started off at a 75 overall. We got him to an 83. We unfortunately did not have anywhere near enough cards. Well, in order to get him guaranteed. And we actually did. Wow, I took the risk and we got him up to an 85. I don't know why I thought we didn't end up getting that. But D'Lo was the player that we had the most of. So you can see here with D'Angelo Russell, we got him up to level two. Level three pretty easily. We got him up to an 80 overall here at level four. A guy that was coming out of packs a lot, and you can see level five as well. And with that, we ended up with a near 100% chance of getting him, and we got him up to level six. So we end up playing three on three against, I'm pretty sure it was Team France against uh, the others. I can't remember who Tenson says Test 17 was, but Blackie got game and Eddie David were on one team, and myself and Tresco were on another. And lads, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I had to double take a couple of times to see whether or not this was a mobile game. These graphics were insanely good. So facing off in the France versus the rest three on three game. Myself, Tresco, like from playing 1v1 had been the two best players I come up against. I've beaten Blackie that game a few times off camera. But Blackie comes straight in and hits a shot. He then goes and gets the fourth point for his team. I go and uh, shoot a fade away to make it four all. However... I'm trying to play some help defense because that Joel Embiid is killing us. Eddie David's getting every offensive board. And honestly, Blackie got game was cooking me. He most definitely had game as Eddie David swats me into Rosette. I don't get a steal right there. He walks back and hits another shot in my face. That's what Kevin Durant can do. And then I real by the time I realized that it was too late, I shoot a step back in his face and hit one right back at him. Heck, my Kevin Durant was a lot better than his KD, and his KD was still cooking me. And honestly, in the end, we uh, we really got beaten pretty badly. Eddie David winning MVP. I then go and try to use Kevin Durant in one-on-one, -on -one, thinking, okay, I got a high overall KD. He's definitely going to cook. And we get mashed in the paint with Nikola Jokic. This was against the guy who was sitting beside me. I have no idea, honestly, what his name was. But we end up getting a nice score there. He kind of switches off on defense. We hit a three, and with that, he ends up quitting the game, and we get the W. And for the last five minutes, I decided to go into a three-point contest, and this is a tough one because we had Dame, we had Steph Curry, and we had Kevin Durant. And I thought this was going to be like shooting in the game, but it's a little bit more difficult. Um, it was actually surprisingly difficult. I thought that this was going to be one where I was going to make most of the shots, and all of us in the room decided to try get the high score for the points. And I thought I did pretty well right here with Steph at 2.30. I thought it was all right. The next round, we went with Dame Lillard. And we were doing so well to start off. Like 400 was the highest score. And we were really going for that. However, like it just wasn't to be. We missed our last shot. Ended up on 3.30. Going with KD because he's our highest overall player. And that was even worse at 2.10. And with our last go before the day ended, we had Steph and Curry right here. We needed pretty much... To hit every other shot or every shot and we just missed it like i was really struggling with steph i probably should have stuck with dame lillard if i'd use dame for a little more time maybe we could have hit the 400 but steph his highest was 220 and it really just was not the greatest so anyway that is the video this is nba infinite the brand new mobile game definitely something that you're gonna see a little bit more of on the channel as time goes on let me know what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.